kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. <laughs> oh, TV, what have you done to my brain? <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Grimoire Mana Storm. It's a wizard FPS. Oh my god, wizard FPS! I always make jokes about how much I hate, like, basement wizards and stuff, but wizards wizards? Actual wizards? Dude, doesn't get any better. Uh, game comes from a developer called Omni Connection, so thank you so much for the review copy. Me and my roommate got down on a little bit, so I'll explain to you the classes and show you some uh, highlight footage before giving my full review. And there will be a text review for this video, so look for that in the description. So you have six classes right now, with more to be added. Earth, Lightning, Ice, Fire, Nature, another. You have a set of mobility spells. Teleport is fairly obvious. Repel lets you blast yourself and enemies back. Celerity lets you move much faster for six seconds. And Juxtapose is kind of like teleport, except you can uh, shoot a projectile. You also have a set of utility spells, which are spell shield. A three second shield, which is awesome. Stone skin seems like kind of a shorter version of the spell shield. Not great. Chains of binding, in case you don't have a trap, is really good. Arcane barrier basically puts an actual shield on the ground. Earth is an extremely tanky class, which is pretty interesting for a mage. He shoots out shotgun of pebbles by pressing mouse one, tosses a giant boulder that's affected by gravity, pressing mouse two. Q launches a boulder you can explode, and E turns you into a giant lodestone. Earthen Mandal is a passive, which lets you tank lots and lots of damage. Pebbles! Pebbles for you! Ah, uh, yeah! Fuck a trick! Get pebbled! Oh! Wow! Fire does a lot of damage, but Earth takes a lot of damage. So no problem. Lightning is the next. There's electricity, which lets you shoot a sustained electrical bolt. Lightning bolts like a railgun. You can set a thunder trap, and then you can shoot a lightning orb, which can be stopped by uh, also pressing E. And then magnetize is your passive, which lets you see through walls after hitting your target, which is pretty cool. But I just wasted my orb. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh. We both have little uh, get away from me buttons. That seems to be okay. Dodge those fireballs like in the Matrix! I knew that meteor was coming because I know my roommate. <laughs> what a jerk he is. Oh, he just fell off! <laughs> uh, <laughs> did he fall through the world? It wasn't a ledge. Okay. It was a ledge. I've fallen through the world before. I've also seen uh, somebody who wasn't my roommate on these servers before, but unfortunately I hit the screenshot button instead of the record button. Derp. Get that chocolate ball in there. Yeah! And then you fire the railgun at him. Yaw! Yeah! Hey, I like that. It's pretty interesting how you can see him through the walls after you hit him. Tag the enemy and chase them down. Snap, railgun! Ice is made of shit. Sickling winds uh, blows very short range, but ice spikes shoots out way in front of you. Permafrost is a great ice trap, and then blizzard is just a gigantic AoE. Chilling grass uh, lets you slow your targets and then eventually root them to the ground. Do you feel the cold breath of the grave upon your neck, Mr. Ramtide? I shall show you it to be true. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Too naturey for me, bro. Yeah, I need to shield up and avoid combat for this very moment. Unless it goes like this! I didn't kill him like that! Ugh. He didn't run. That wasn't very fun. <laughs> Ice can do a lot of damage. I don't know if there's a nature modifier weakness, like in Pokemans. That wouldn't make too much sense, would it? 
Or would it? I think that would be really awesome. To kind of force people to play the different classes. Because, you know, it, everybody's going to hear me say, Oh, Ice is so good. It's the new meta. We basically all have to play Ice now. Which happens to every game because people are so obsessed with, like, min-max. But I think the true test is if you can get good with a class that people don't consider to be the best. Fire is all DPS all the time. You can shoot a flamethrower, a, a chargeable fireball, a gigantic magma bomb, or you can summon a meteor storm as your gigantic special. And then you leave a, tra a trail of flame when you mana step, which is your shift key. And it allows you to get around combat faster. There are free-for-all servers. Right now we are playing on a control point server. Which is just fine and dandy with me. There's my special shield ability. And the fire that I leave behind. The shield act is able to be activated fairly often. So if you get into trouble, don't hesitate to hit it. Because it's probably recharged. We're just going to swap control points real quick. And then I shall meet him behind this building. <laughs> there he is. Ah uh -huh. My explosion passed. And that third attack is pretty brutal. It's a giant exploding fireball. This charged one's okay though because it has a lot of range. That meteor storm. If you get hit by it, it's, it's very well good game for you. Oh, yeah. Smashed by fireball. Nature has thorns, which are homing missiles, basically. Anima Blossom is an explosion. Wisp also explodes, uh, but you can kind of hold it next to you for a while. Tree of Life heals. And Rebirth is a passage that lets you turn into, like, a bunny for a little while instead of dying. Look at these homing missiles. shoop a doop doop they don't home as well as you'd hope, but, uh, it's decent. I think it's quite decent. There's my wisp. Boom, boom, boom! Uh-oh. He's blizzard. <laughs> I put a tree. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Nope. But the cool thing is, if you're a nature wizard, you can turn into a rabbit every- Well, not every time you die. The cooldown seems relatively long. Um, in a bigger match, but 1v1, nature is probably one of the best classes. Not better than ice. Oh my god. Why are you doing this? Stop doing it to me! Gotta push. Yeah, he's running little bastard. He ain't stupid. He ain't as dumb as he looks. I mean, the character model looks pretty good in the game. But, my roommate does look pretty stupid. Get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked! Oh my god. Here we go. Bunny time. Run, bunny, run! Ha ha ha! Bunny, bunny, bunny! I will not die to you, nor anyone, sir! Oop. That sucks. Oh no! Oh my god. No! 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 Oh! Nature! Nether is a really cool control class. It has a shock room of energy that shoots back and forth. Uh, a nether pool that can lay on the ground. A spell that pulls enemies to you. And a gigantic vortex that holds enemy in place. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a special skill at the moment. It's such a controlling class. Basically, lay a pool on the floor and pull your enemies into it. And then shoot a shock room through them. It's such a satisfying class to play. Although it's not as tanky, or I hesitate to say not as good as the other classes, because just because he doesn't have an ability doesn't make him not good. You can do some nasty things with him. There you go, shockrumed. 
pull you over here. Get shop roomed. Kill a bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Nether. Railgun, son. Is this how you want to live your life? Is it? Is it really? I don't think it is. I reach out a hand to you. It's got an electrical gemstone in it. It's like a buzzer. Uh, one of those wind-up ones, except it kills you. Ah! <laughs> Get fucking murked. And lightning trap on the other side. Oh, the lightning trap goes off relatively quick. So that is one you need to drop on people's heads. That's fine. Oh, he's making a giant tree, so I am leaving. Because screw that noise. I don't want to fight him while he's DOTing or or HOTing. <laughs> to be correct, lightning trap, lightning ball, dude, what a jerk! Blink in, destroy him. Uh oh, there's the wisp, there's the explosion. Yes, I can do it. Get the rabbit. <laughs> Kill the wabbit! Kill the wabbit! <laughs> oh, TV, what have you done to my brain? <laughs> Woo! Ooh, I'm on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm on the roof. Well, I am on the ceiling, but more accurately on the roof. Yeah! Get marked! You don't see me? I don't see you. <laughs> He's running. He's running for it. He can't hang. Hey, buddy. I don't know why I missed so hard. Ooh, you like that? Mana step. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. <laughs> the orb killed the rabbit. <sighs> This is pleasing to me, yes. <laughs> so, friends, this has been Grimoire Mana Storm Early Access. I give it a solid 6 out of 10, basically because I think it's really, really good, the spell effects and just the fact that it even has multiplayer is really awesome for Early Access. And if it had more people, it would certainly be uh, something that I would tell everybody to go out and buy, which is kind of a weird paradox if you uh, catch my drift. Some problems are uh, minor bugs, uh, like falling through the world to your death, which isn't so minor, but it does happen. Um, there also seems to be some class balance issues, which may have to do with uh, just the fact that most of the matches that take place in this game currently are duels or 2v1 or what have you. So friends, this has been Grimoire Mana Storm. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you will join me while we watch this game develop further. Until the next time friends, I've been Gr Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye! One. Bye, goodbye, see you, my friend.